Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. A few years ago, I was invited to write an essay for a photography festival. The deadline was approaching rapidly, uh, just a week, so I told them I could only write it in English because German would take me a little longer. I told them they would have to translate it. So that sounded good to them, and they did, and they sent me the book in the mail. And when I looked at the, at the text, they had sent me the German version, I was unable to see my own voice. As a matter of fact, the, the whole thing didn't make any sense to me. It was as if somebody else had written that text. And to think of that of late, when I started reading a lot of Japanese literature, mostly li literature written by, by women artists, women, women writers, to read these, these books gives me some sort of insight into what the authors are feeling and what they want me to know about their world, but of course I'm reading them in translation. My Japanese is barely enough to say hello. But I know that the translators have spent a lot of time in Japan, a lot of them actually live in Japan, and even though they're Westerners, they are aware of the Japanese mindset. Without the Japanese mindset, you couldn't translate these books. And even reading those books, I realized after I'd been to Japan for a couple times and spoken to Japanese people, I was able to see more in the books than I would be able to see if I had never been. So cultural background does matter and cultural references. And I think that's something that goes beyond the idea of language and translatability. I think somebody who translates a text brings their own ideas, their own background to the text. And that means that when translating certain authors, that has to be taken into consideration. I noticed then when people started talking about the poem by Amanda Gorman, there was a lot of talk about, well, should this be translated by a black woman or a white woman, or can this be translated by a white woman? But at, the, at, at its essence of this translation issue, is the, uh, sits the same problem that I... Uh, I imagine it's behind translating Japanese literature. You can't just assume that translating faithfully from one language to another does not have to take into account the whole cultural background of the writer and the translator and the experience that both, both the writer and the translator bring to their work. So even though I think I started out thinking that translation is just translation, now knowing from my own work and from seeing other people being translated and knowing about other cultures that translation is not just translation. I mean, just type something into Google and have it translated by them, right? 